the second question in the past all famous artists have been well known for their bohemian style of life please can you say something about creativity and discipline the bohemian life is the only life worth living all other kinds of lives are only lukewarm there are more ways of committing slow suicide then ways of living life passionately and intensely in the past it was inevitable that the artist has to live in rebellion because creativity is the greatest rebellion in existence If you want to create you have to get rid of all conditions otherwise your creativity will be nothing but copy it will be just a carbon copy you can be creative only if you are an individual you cannot create as part of the mob psychology the mob psychology is uncreative it lives a life of drag it knows no dance no sun no joy it is mechanical of course there are few things you will get from the society only if you are mechanical respectability you will get honors you will get universities will confer delits on you countries will give you gold medals you may become finally a nobel laureate but this whole thing is ugly a real man of genius will discard all this nonsense because this is bribery giving nobel prize to a person simply means your services to the establishment have been respected that you are honored because you have been a good slave obedient that you have not gone astray that you have followed the well trodden path the creator cannot follow the well trodden path he has to search his own way he has to inquire in the jungles of life he has to go alone he has to be a drop out from the mob mind from the collective psychology the collective mind is the lowest mind in the world even the so called idiots are a little bit superior than the collective idiots but the collectivity has its own bribes it respects people honors people 
if the guan insisting that the way of the collective mind is the only right way it was out of sheer necessity that in the past the creators of all kinds the painters the dancers the musicians the poets the sculptors had renounced respectability they had to live a kind of bohemian life the life of a vagabond that was the only possibility for them to be creative this need not be so in the future if you understand me if you feel what i am saying has a truth in it then in the future everybody should live individually and there will be no need for a bohemian life the bohemian life is a by product of a fixed orthodox conventional respectable life my effort is to destroy the collective mind and to make each individual free to be himself or herself then there is no problem then you can live as you want to live in fact humanity will be really born only the day the individual is respected in his rebellion humanity is still not born it is still in the womb what you see as humanity is only a very hocus focus phenomena creativity is the fragrance of the individual freedom bug if i know what the fuck is going on here creativity has nothing to do with any activity in particular with painting poetry dancing singing it has nothing to do with anything in particular anything can be creative if you bring that quality to the activity activity itself is neither creative nor uncreative you can paint in an uncreative way you can sing in an uncreative way you can clean the floor in a creative way you can cook in a creative way creativity is the quality that you bring to the activity you are doing it is an attitude a inner approach how you look at things so the first thing to be remembered don't confine creativity to anything in particular a man is creative and if he is a creator whatsoever he does even if he walks 
you can see in his walking there is creativity even if he sits silently and does nothing even non doing will be a creative act buddha sitting under the bodhi tree doing nothing is the greatest creator the world has ever known once you understand it that it is you the person who is creative or uncreative then this problem disappears everybody cannot be a painter and there is no need also if everybody is a painter the world will be very ugly it will be difficult to live and everybody cannot be a dancer and there is no need but everybody can be creative whatsoever you do if you do it joyfully if you do it lovingly if your act of doing it is not purely economical then it is creative if you have something growing out of it within you if it gives you growth it is spiritual it is creative it is divine you become more divine as you become more creative all the religions of the world have said god is the creator i don't know whether he is the creator or not but one thing i know the more creative you become the more godly you become when your creativity comes to a climax when your whole life becomes creative you live in god so he must be the creator because people who have been creative have been closest to him love what you do be meditative while you are doing it whatsoever it is irrelevant of the fact what it is have you seen paras cleaning this floor of chuangtazu auditorium then you will know cleaning can become creative with what love almost singing and dancing inside with such love if you clean the floor you have done an invisible painting you live that moment in such delight that it has given you some inner growth you cannot be the same after an creative act creativity means a loving whatsoever you do enjoying celebrating it as a god's gift maybe nobody comes to know about it who is going to praise paras for cleaning this floor history will not take any account newspapers will not publish her name and pictures but that is irrelevant she enjoyed it the value is intrinsic so if you are looking for fame and then you think you are creative if you become famous like picasso then you are creative then you will miss then you are in fact not creative at all you are a politician ambitious if fame happens good if it doesn't happen good it should not be the consideration the consideration should be that you are enjoying whatsoever you are doing 
it is your love affair your act is your love affair then it becomes creative if small things become great by the touch of love and delight the questioner asks i believed i was uncreative if you believe in that way you will become uncreative because belief is not just belief it opens doors it closes doors if you have a wrong belief then that will hang around you as a closed door if you believe that you are uncreative you will become uncreative because that belief will obstruct continuously negates all possibilities of flowing it will not allow your energy to flow because continuously you will say i am uncreative this has been taught to everybody very few people are accepted as creative few painters few poets one in a million this is foolish every human being is a born creator what children and you will see all children are creative by and by we destroy their creativity by and by we force wrong beliefs on them by and by we distract them by and by we make them more and more economical and political and ambitious when ambition enters creativity disappears because an ambitious man cannot be creative because an ambitious man cannot love any activity for its own sake while he is painting he is looking ahead he is thinking when he is going to get a nobel prize when he is writing a novel he is looking ahead he is always in the future and a creative person is always in the present we destroy creativity nobody is born uncreative <clears throat> but we make 99% people uncreative but just throwing the responsibility on the society is not going to help you have to take your life in your own hands you have to drop wrong conditionings you have to drop wrong hypnotic auto suggestions that has been given to you in your childhood drop them purify yourself of all conditionings and suddenly you will see you are creative to be and to be creative are synonymous it is impossible to be and not to be creative but that impossible has happened that ugly phenomenon has happened because all your creative sources have been plugged blocked destroyed and your whole energy has been forced into some activity that the society thinks is going to pay our whole attitude about life is money oriented and money is the one of the most uncreative things one can become interested in our whole approach is power oriented and power is destructive not creative a man who is after money will become destructive because money has to be robbed exploited it has to be taken away from many people only then you can have it power simply means you have to make many people important you have to destroy them only then you will be powerful you can be powerful remember these are destructive acts a creative act enhances the beauty of the world it gives something to the world it never takes anything from it a creative person comes into the world 
enhances the beauty of the world. A song here, a painting there. He makes the world to dance better, to enjoy better, to love better, to meditate better. When he leaves this world, he leaves a better world behind him. Nobody may know him, nobody may not know him. That is not the point. But he leaves the world a better world. Tremendously fulfilled that his life has been of some intrinsic value. Money, power, prestige are uncreative, not only uncreative but destructive activities. Beware of them. And if you are beware of them, you can become creative very easily. I am not saying that your creativity is going to give you power, prestige, money. No, I cannot promise you any rose gardens. It may give you trouble. It may force you to live a poor man's life. All that I can promise you is that deep inside you will, you will be the richest man possible. Deep inside you will be fulfilled. Deep inside you will be full of joy and celebration. You will be continuously receiving more and more blessings from God. Your life will be a life of benediction. But it is possible outwardly you may not be famous, you may not have money, you may not succeed in the so-called world. But to succeed in the so-called world is to fail deeply, is to fail in the inside world. And what you are going to do with the whole world at your feet if you have lost your own self? What you will do if you possess the whole world and you don't possess yourself? A creative person possesses his own being. He is a master. That's why in the East we have been calling sannyasins, swamis. Swami means a master. Beggars have been called swamis, masters. Emperors we have known. But they proved in the final account, in the final conclusion of their life that they were beggars. <laughs>